And nearly two decades after the federal assault weapons ban expired, Senator Chuck Schumer says that he's planning to bring a new ban to the floor of the Senate. Good day, wake up banker. Dan Bowens got the details this morning. What's going on, Dan? Good morning, Rosanna and Bianca. Senator Chuck Schumer is advocating for the reinstatement of the assault weapons ban, highlighting this initiative as a key response to the ongoing issue of gun violence plaguing not just New York City, but all across this country. The senator said there have been more than 600 mass shootings in the U.S. so far this year. 15 of them were in New York State. The measure includes banning the sale, manufacture, transport, and importation of 205 military-style assault weapons. It also bans magazines and other ammunition feeding devices that hold more than 10 rounds of ammunition. The proposal will require a background check on any future sale, trade, or gifting of an assault weapon. And as majority leader, I won't let the NRA or Republicans try and backburner the issue of gun violence that plagues this country because it's much too easy to get one of these weapons of war that were designed for armies not for hunting, not for self-defense. They're used by people who want to kill a lot of people. Weapons of war, he said. The bill exempts more than 2,200 guns for hunting, household defense, or recreational purposes. And it includes a grandfather clause that exempts all weapons lawfully possessed at the date of enactment. So if you have your gun right now, you wouldn't lose it. Tomorrow marks 30 years since the Long Island Railroad mass shooting. So many people remember this. That's when Colin Ferguson opened fire on other passengers with a semi-automatic pistol in Garden City. Six people were killed in that incident and 19 others were wounded. Senator Schumer noted that he led the passage of the assault weapons ban back then, which resulted in a significant decrease in mass shooting and gun deaths. While it's possible it could pass the narrowly controlled Democratic Senate, it almost certainly would not pass the Republican-controlled House, so it seems unlikely that this bill would ever make it to President Joe Biden's desk. Mm. We'll see, though. Mm. Bianca and Rosanna, back to you. All right, Dan, thanks so much for the update.